What's up, what's up everyone? Claudia Bazaar here. Uh, totally mess mom today, which is totally fine. But um, the question today is, have you ever heard of power cooking? Okay, so I heard about power cooking a couple years ago. It's something the Pain for Chef kind of came out with and then it kind of got away. But I'm bringing it back because groceries are insane and we all need some budget friendly meals, but we also need to all save some time. So if you agree with that, if you agree that we need to save time and money in the kitchen, Drop me a heart below, okay? So I'm here to prepare some power cooking chicken and I'll tell you all about it. And today, sometimes I look cute, but today I look, that's what I look like because I was actually excited that today was one of the days in my calendar that I never have to get dressed, never have to go anywhere, never have to go blah, 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 blah. So I was like, you know what? It's still official work year because we got paper chalk pants on and a paper chalk shirt. So although they're sweatpants, it's all good, right? So you guys cool with that? Okay. Sounds like we're all cool with that. Awesome. All right. So if you're new to power cooking, it's kind of like I used to do them back in the days, freezer meal workshops, right? I used to do those. Um, but it's kind of like that. It's like if you're going to cook chicken anyways, instead of four chicken breasts, cook like eight or 12 and have your chicken prep for the whole week. If you're going to cook ground beef for tacos, cook like three or four, five pounds of ground beef and then separate it and freeze it and maybe even add some other add-ins for some future recipes. So then the next time you need ground beef, you're skipping the whole 10, 12 minutes that it takes to cook your meat. Okay, does that make sense? Make sense? Yes, yes, awesome. All right, thanks for popping in guys. All right, so the first thing I need to do with this power cooking chicken, if you're interested, I have a whole PDF, okay? Just send me a message, say power cooking or common power cooking or whatever, or do both, comment a message, then you know you get it as the fastest. Just say power cooking PDF and I'll send it to you. But basically each recipe is under $3 a serving, okay? It actually used to be $2 a serving, but you know, prices have gone up over the last 10 years. So, this each recipe is over three dollars under three dollars a serving. Uh, my tip for those of you guys that have been following me for a long time, you know that I love to shop at Aldi. So it's A L D I. So if you've not tried it yet, even with coupons and everything else, Aldi's nine out of ten times is cheaper. Okay, so go to Aldi if you're struggling right now and you need to save some money. So um, basically, what we're doing is we are going to. I haven't done this in a long time, so I don't know quite all the things, but I hope that's okay. Um, so if you're watching live, by the way, comment live. If you're watching replay, comment replay. Drop some comments um, so I can make sure that you guys are here. So again, if you want the power cooking PDF, just comment power cooking, and then you get one, two, three, four. You get five chicken recipes, um, and I'm working on we're working on a beef one too. So, but what's the concept? The concept is that we're cooking three pounds of chicken all at once. Okay, so of course you can cook your chicken however you want, okay? I am choosing to cook it in my multi-cooker, which is basically cooking under pressure, okay? Let me move this a little bit. I know I have like a small kitchen, but sometimes it's a little hard to make sure you see everything. So we are doing power cooking chicken, and we're gonna pressure cook this chicken because under pressure, this only takes like 10 minutes okay we can't beat that all right so once it reaches pressure it only takes 10 minutes to cook so here how easy it is so you can cut your chicken ahead of time i like to use my salad choppers afters if you can use your mixer or whatever and then shred your chicken so i'm not even going to bother trying to cut this raw chicken like no thanks <laughs> i don't want to do that so we're just going to add some chicken and then anytime you pressure cook in your pressure cooker, in order to get pressure, you need some liquid. In order to create the pressure, you need some liquid. So we are adding one cup of chicken broth, right? You guys know I love these flexible bowls. Um, and then, of course, we are going to just season it with some salt and pepper because if there's one thing I don't like is bland chicken, right? Okay, so these, this is three pounds of chicken. So this is also really good um, if you're out there and you're like, oh, chicken's on sale or beef's on sale. Like grab it and rather than grabbing it and then freezing it, just grab it all, cook it all, and then freeze it so it's ready to go, okay? 
So we got our chicken in here. We got three pounds. And now we are going to cook it all up. Get rid of this thing here. All in the sink. I'm going to touch some raw chicken. So again, I'll show it to you. I mean, it's pretty basic, right? It's just chicken and ground beef, right? Make sense? Okay. Um, is that frozen? No. So the chicken is not frozen. It can be frozen, but you can cook from frozen to cooked in um, in the pressure cooker, but it doesn't need to be. So yeah, if you guys have questions, comment below. Let me know what questions I can answer for you. So we are going to simply cook this under pressure now. Okay. Very, very, very easy. You just click poultry. Okay. Um, you just click poultry. 15 minutes. And go. Actually, it says 10 minutes. Select poultry for 10 minutes. All right. I'm going to trust the recipe and see what happens here. Okay. 10 minutes. Everything is good to go. Once it's under pressure, the little red button pops up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. So while that is cooking, we're going to press our. I'll show you a couple of recipes, so I'm not going to show you all, but there's three basically recipes that we're going to do. One we're probably going to eat tonight, and the other two I'm going to freeze, and then I'll show you how these can basically come together. So there's five for three. So there's three recipes. Um, yeah, so you basically divide the chicken into three portions, and then you can pick three recipes with this. So I chose the chicken stir fry. I went with kind of like what my kids are going to eat, right? So chicken stir fry, Greek chicken and orzo skillet, and the smoky black bean chicken wraps. So let me read you all recipes. Let me know which one, which one would you want the recipe for? So we have chicken stir fry, number one. You can just comment one. Number two, Greek chicken and orzo skillet. Number three, smoky black bean chicken wraps. Number four, cheesy chicken torti tortilla soup. And number five, Dijon chicken noodle puffs. One, two, three, four, five. Or all of them. <laughs> Depends on who you are, right? Um, so if you just pop it in, this is the outfit for today, okay? I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to jump. I don't have to like make videos. So I'm literally chilling in my sweatpants. So I hope that's okay. Is that okay? <laughs> it's a very authentic to die. All right. Anyway, okay. So while that is cooking, we are going to prep. Let's do the chicken stir fry, okay? So basically, we need two bags. I love me a good stir fry. You guys love stir fry? I love stir fry, but I really don't cook it a lot. So um, that's actually one of the reasons I probably love Pamper Chef a lot because when I moved to the U.S., I didn't know any American recipes. Like, not a okay? Not even, like, I, you know, it took my husband like five years to introduce me to a grocery sandwich, so. But I didn't know any American recipes. So for me, joining Pamper Chef when I had just moved to the U.S. and I didn't know anybody, was a good way to try new recipes and try new foods. And I, um, for those of you guys that know, I'm 100% Italian, so I can whip up pasta, all those Italian dishes in a minute. And I could do that in my sleep. So I love to be reminded to cook other things um, as well. So I love it. All right, hi, Lisa, thanks for popping in. Oh, oh, it looks like number one is the favorite. Okay, well, good thing I'm starting with the stir fry. All right, so once the chicken is cooked, uh, we're going to drain it. I'm probably not, I don't know. We'll see how long this takes. Once the chicken is cooked, you want to drain it, okay? You want to divide it. You want to shred it, drain it, drain it, shred it, and then divide it into three portions. And you basically put your chicken in three freezer bags, okay? Um, and then you add different ingredients to it. So this one right here calls for the teriyaki for prepared stir fry sauce. Okay, don't come at me. All right, busy one over here. You want to make your own stir fry sauce? <laughs> you can, okay? Um, I don't know how to do that. So if somebody has a stir fry recipe, send it my way. Um, Asian cuisine, Mexican cuisine is not my specialty. I mean, I can make some recipes, I can follow recipes, but it's not like Italian cooking or even German cooking. I can just, I can just come up with it, okay? So, all right, so this calls for, so we're going to do the chicken with two-thirds of a cup of prepared stir-fry sauce. This is from Aldi's, nice and cheap, right? Um, and let me know if you guys are in need right now. I know it's crazy out there, so if you want more budget-friendly 
Facebook Lives, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, um, or more budget-friendly recipes or tips to save money right now. Let me know if that's something that interests you. Maybe you can do that. <laughs> Okay. All right. So we need two thirds of a cup of this prepared sauce. Normally I would just dump some in, but I'm going to follow the recipe. So two thirds of a cup is going in. See, I would probably already just for next time cook double the amount of chicken because what I'm going to do with the other half. I might as well make this recipe try. You know what I mean? Like, does it make sense? Um, all right, so we're going to dump them in here. Squeeze it all out. That's why we're using the cup. So that's where the chicken goes in, and then it calls for frozen shelled edamame. Could not find it. I'm the only one in my house that eats edamame, so I'm going to do that. But instead, I bought something else, which goes in bag number two. Let me go get it. edamame and broccoli and carrots, Aldi's has this broccoli stir fry because we're all about cheap and convenient. So um, we're just going to mix that in the bag, in the second bag, and add, add our Asian seasoning right away. Look at me, I'm so smart. Because you're supposed to buy the broccoli and the carrots and the edamame separately. Uh -huh. But I cheated. That, does that work? Can I cheat sometimes? Okay. Um, love stir fry. Okay, love it, love it. All right, let me know uh, where you guys are watching from. Where is everyone tuning in from today? Put it in the comments. All right, let's find our Asian seasoning. Let's hope I have some. Okay, and then we need two tablespoons of our Asian seasoning. If you don't have that, you know, substitute or you know where to find me, <laughs> all right? Um, so one cap of the Pan for Chef seasonings is actually two tablespoons, all right? So this is something, guys, that you could do after you go grocery shopping or if you have like a, you know, let's say you have a night, a evening kind of off where kids don't have any activities or you're not running around, you could power cook some chicken, make your make one meal or make three meals, you know, eat one meal, make the other two or make all three meals. And the goal is not that you're gonna eat all these back to back. The goal is that you have some quick meals you can grab from your freezer that you can whip up in 30 minutes or less, okay? Because right now, even if you go to McDonald's, a family of four, that's quite a bit of money. And let's not even talk about going out to eat at an actual restaurant for a family of four, right? So if you have something ready to go that you know is good and delicious, you're less likely to be spontaneous on like, oh my God, I'm so busy, let me just go and grab something to eat, all right? So that's why we're doing that. Save money, be prepared, and eat delicious meals at home. Yes, do we agree? Drop a heart if you agree. Okay, so, um, and then basically seal bag number two, which is this one. Seal bag number two and place into bag number one. Okay, that does not make sense to me. <laughs> Why would I put this in? All right, I'm just having a coffee moment, but that makes no sense to me. So I'm actually going to put this saucy stuff later with the chicken in this bag rather than the other way around, right? That makes no sense. That would get all like gross. I don't know, my self favorite chef about that one. Favorite chef, you're watching. It's my tip. I'll send you an email. <laughs> All right. So now we'll wait the chicken and bag number one is done, ready to go in your freezer. Make sense? Okay. You still with me? You still with me? You guys are quiet to death. Um, okay. So then uh, let's see. We could probably do one more. So I don't keep you on here for too long, but I'm making this anyway. So you guys can just hang out. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. So the other one is the smoky black bean chicken wraps. Now, when I initially read this, I'm like, mm, my kids are not, well, at least one of them. Mark will probably eat it. But my, one of my kids does not like black beans, right? So 
but um, what I can do is I always look at this and I can be like, oh, I can just have some extra rice for her without black beans. I could just make the wrap with uh, chicken, cheese, and uh, rice, cheesy wrap for those picky kids. And then for the grown-ups, we can add beans and lettuce and tomatoes and whatever we want, right? So that's, if you have picky eaters, it's really good to learn that, to know how to kind of break the recipe apart to make it fit for all your family members, okay? All right, um, this is obviously still cooking, so we can't do that. Two cups of cooked rice. Okay, so you know how you cheated on the first meal? I cheated on the second meal, because I'm like, I need this fast and easy today. So I bought this, and I'm just gonna use that. <laughs> Already cooked rice, uh, because I actually use, use this to cook my rice, so I'm like, it's gonna cook the chicken, so I don't wanna waste, so we're just gonna use this. Okay, so two cups of cooked rice. But again, if you want to save money, definitely want to cook your own rice, right? Save some money right there. And um, this is like a barbecue, one tablespoon of smoky barbecue. Oh, I think I just ran out of that. Uh, let's see. Did I just run out of that? Start it. I think I might have some in my office. Okay, I have to go in the office, but I'll do it later. But, um, and then what else? Two cups of cooked rice, and the other portion gets one can of black beans, one can of black beans, drained and rinsed with one and a half cups of water, and more smoky barbecue wrap. All right, I definitely think I have some in my office. Um, that's another tip uh, of being a baby dip consultant is you get a discount on all the products. So you can stock up your pantry, feed your family, the tax write off, and you save money. Ding, 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 ding. It's like win win, right? Um, okay, so we need um, black beans. Where are you at? One can of black beans coming right up. We use a handy dandy can opener. So what's for dinner in your house today? Who wants to tell me? What's for dinner in your house? Let's see. Hi, Samantha. Thanks for popping in. Fort Myers, Florida. We got Pennsylvania in the house. Okay. Um, Amy, so do you guys have any budget friendly tips? What are you guys doing right now to save some money? What's everyone doing? It's crazy. So just so you know, the can opener cuts the edges, so it's kind of like a lid, so it's not, not sharp. So it's a no sharp edge can opener. Link in the bio, comment on it, message me, I'll send you the link, okay? So uh, pulled pork, yum. All right, I'm gonna go rinse these. I'll be right back. Tell me what you're having for dinner. Tell me. Coming back, I promise. Okay, so the second bag gets that and one and a half cups of water. Got a rinse black beans. Let's see, what else is for dinner? It could be pulled pork. What else? What else is everybody eating? Or you could just be like, I have no idea, Claudia, what I'm eating. It's still so good. Let's figure that out. <laughs> one and a half cups of water and more smoky barbecue. So, okay, so now you can see that the little red thing in the back popped up. You probably can't hear it, but I can hear it go. It's like bubbling like crazy. So that means it's currently under pressure, okay? And it'll kind of like count down and let me know once we are, once it's done, it'll just say we're done, okay? Um, so anyway, I'll finish this up, but I just wanted to see if you've ever heard about power cooking. If you want the PDF, let me know. I'll send it your way. I'm all about helping you guys save money and time in the kitchen. And if you feel like your friends might be interested in this, then we can get together for a quick 15-minute virtual party. Okay? We teach some power cooking. We teach some money-saving tips. You've got lots of free paper chops. Everybody's happy. And we'll go from there. All right, guys? So let me know if this was helpful. Comment below if this was helpful. And... Um, so anybody else have benefits from this?
hit the share button depending on which platform you're at. Um, all right. And don't forget, tomorrow's Friday. So every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, I come on live. So again, pretty much in 24 hours. This was more spontaneous. Uh, and tomorrow we're going to make a uh, chili cornbread bake. So it's like the whole thing all in one pot. Super easy, super budget friendly. Sound good? All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Ciao.